Episode 2, The Mind and the Body. Here is the latest ranking. Remember, Igor is the best on paper, most of all for his originality. But the competition continues with new challenges. Today, our protagonists will learn that the body is also a machine, and just like a car, it has to be tuned to perfection. We start with an overall physical checkup. Realize that a driver has to go through a number of physical evaluations, for example, neurological, ophthalmological, and cardiovascular. We found these four to be generally in good health. I'd also add that it was great to see that some of them had very strong reactions, both physically and emotionally. What are we going to do with these young men I'm about to visit? We'll be conducting a general postural exam. Let's go take a look and see if there's any postural compensation, like we see in race car drivers. It's true that we're working with young men who are still growing, so in other words, they aren't fully developed men yet. After these tests, it really gets going. A race car driver is above all an athlete. Alexei, Igor, Gregory and Nikolai will find this out as they face a challenging training session with fitness coach Andrea Ferrari. Will they survive? Okay, my name is Andrea Ferrari. I work with Fabrizio Bora and I'm in charge of planning and scheduling the athletic fitness of the academy drivers. The so-called first stop is the neck machine. This is to train the muscles of the neck and the arms. For these young men, we've used this differently than we normally do. You can see there is a pedal and gear shift which these young men aren't using. These are calibrated to match those of the Formula 3 using sensors. The whole thing is controlled by a tablet with a program we custom designed. This allows us to work on braking and turns. Let's say you can't make a turn. Since the number of driving tests is strictly limited now, we use this to practice taking that curve a hundred times until we get the right braking profile and turn entry. It's a the second is an exercise in visual spatial coordination. It's about coordination and reaction times. A button is going to light up and you have to go ahead and touch it as quickly as possible. We record how much time it takes to do so many touches. The third is aerobic training. We did a kind of little tournament, a small competition among them. How many meters can they cover in three minutes? The speed is up to them. So guys, how did it go? We're not pros, so we're tired. The first day was tough, but not a problem. Each of us has his strong points and weak points. However, that's not all. The mind has to be trained as well. Our protagonists have to undergo a battery of tests in the mind room. This is an avant-garde laboratory, which uses the most advanced techniques to evaluate reactions and stress management. The autonomic nervous system is made up of two parts, parasympathetic and sympathetic. Think of them like the accelerator and the brake, with the sympathetic as the accelerator and the parasympathetic the brake. These two systems are in balance, a changing dynamic balance, right? and the way this balance is maintained is different for each person. Generally, Igor is the one who puts more pressure on the accelerator. Alexei is the best at balancing the accelerator and brake. However, Igor has the fastest reaction times. Nikolai is someone who tends to give a lot in to his emotions. He has very emotional responses, which are very distinct psychophysiological responses. A bit like Igor, Grigori tends to be very competitive.
And here is the big test of the day. We've tested the mind and body in terms of reaction times and coordination. Who will press the 50 buttons the fastest?